It's local legends time gang and this week I'm here to see a mother and daughter team who are working for the rescue, the rehabilitation and the release of bats. Mother Paula and daughter Ashley are two of the dedicated team here at Bats Queensland who literally give of their time to help injured animals recover and be released back into the wild. The work they do is fantastic and I'm really looking forward to learning more about it. So let's go. Bats Queensland, we've got roughly two, 200 members, 250 members, and we rescue, rehabilitate and release all the flying foxes. So this is our release aviary, so we have teams of volunteers who come down. Um, the morning shift cleans the aviary from the night before. Um, they prepare all of our fruit for that evening's feed out. If you were to find an injured flying fox or bat on the ground, um, including microbats, don't touch the animal. Just give our 24 hour hotline a call and we will come out and help you with that animal. We then send out a text message to all of our rescues, our volunteer rescuers. Um, once they've replied, we give all the details over and off they go to out to the rescue. They then take the um, injured animal down to Corumbin Wildlife Sanctuary and uh, they fix them all up there and give them the medications that we need to, to rehab with. We bring them back, we have a carer look after them from their own home and, uh, and then we bring them out to the AV out the back here which is when they're ready to be before release. We take them out and um, get them fit ready for flight and off they go. Unfortunately, they do have a pretty poor reputation, but they're actually really important for our environment. They're a keystone species. So what that means is they really play a really important role in pollinating all of our hardwood eucalyptus forests. So these guys can travel up to 50 kilometers a night in search of food. It really does show how many animals are being cared for here each day, just simply by the amount of food that they're going through. There's boxes of apples, pears, honeydews, mangoes, there's watermelons down there, uh, there's rock melons, and there's a few boxes of bananas in here as well. They're really hungry critters and obviously take a great deal of care to look after. So at the moment we're preparing about 50 kilos of fruit a night, so that encompasses the bats inside the aviary and the bats who we've previously released who are still loitering in the area coming in for food. We are a 100% volunteer run organisation and we rely 100% on donations. Um, our biggest expense is the fruit for feeding these animals, so we're spending about $800 a week on fruit, so it's quite expensive. Um, if you would like to help support us with the cost of the fruit, you can visit our website which is www bats queensland so bats qld um, through there you can find a link to donate through um, our paypal links and um, you can also follow us on facebook and instagram gang this is always my favorite segment of the program because i get to spend some time with legends like ashley and paula if you'd like to support Bats Queensland and the fantastic work these volunteer ladies and 30 or 40 more others plus the 200 members are doing, please visit their website www.batsqld.org.au, follow the PayPal link and make a donation to help these ladies out. And if you know somebody else who's a legend in their community giving up their time like these two ladies, drop us a line to our site. I'd love to get out and meet them. Ladies, you're unreal. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Awesome. Cheers. <laughs>